Hello Taurus and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Yep, someone invested into the wrong thing and they're finding that out now. Oh, they're finding, I feel like, yeah, somebody, um, they want a new beginning here. You could be, um, a, uh, no. You know what? Honestly, I feel like this isn't your energy. I feel like they made, they made an offer to somebody else and they got, it was, a, it ended up being a toxic person. Whatever they chose to invest in here, I feel like it was something completely toxic. And this person's, I feel like they were put in a third party. If this person put you in a third party, they, now they were put in a third party. They chose somebody, I feel like, um, whoever, this is somebody new. This is someone new that they had passion for. Um, this could be somebody very sexy, very good looking. This person went from the fire, from the frying pan directly into the fire is basically what they did. You know, that's how we say it in Wisconsin. You jump from the fire, from the frying pan into the, into the fire. Um, they went from one situation that they may have been working on for up to maybe six years. Okay. They, they left that one. They went into a toxic situation. This is someone new, but this I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like, I can't, it's like floozy energy kind of. Okay. I want to say floozy. Um, yeah, they picked up on another karmic. They started something new and made an offer to a karmic. From one karmic to the next, that's what this person did. And now they're, the, everything is coming out in the open. Now they see it. Okay, I feel like you're, I don't even really feel your energy out here, I gotta say. I feel like this is what your person did, yeah. Look, all, they're realizing that all of these people that they keep choosing are exactly the same. They could have had three separate individuals here, three separate people, okay? Every time they pick something, I, you know what I feel like? I feel like they're running around trying to find somebody who um, is just like you, and they can't. You know, I feel like this person, they jumped right into the fire here with somebody new that ended up putting them, like cheating on them. They really didn't care much about them. You know, this could be a party girl, something like that, party boy, whatever. Um, it's not gender specific, okay? But um, they may even be realizing that they could have picked up an STD here from somebody. They could be finding that out with the Ace of Wands here, and I'm seeing the Red Cross flag. You know, that, that it always reminds me of something medical, okay? Um, yeah. They're feeling, you know, they're seeing this now, that they keep choosing the same kind of karmic individuals, okay? Um, they go after things that they feel like people that are sexy, people, you know, um, start passionate um, relationships, you know, based on sex, things like that, right? Um, same kind of party people, same kind of clubbing people, same kind of people who are just cheating on them and playing around. You know, I feel like these people aren't serious and they're all toxic. And this person's realizing, I keep choosing toxic people. But, you know, I feel like they keep getting betrayed and they're, they're sabotaging themselves. I feel like, too, they sabotaged you. Um... You know, and here you are. Yeah, that's what the, and look, they sabotaged you. You were a blessing. This person has had, I feel like, um, several bad situations that they've been in, bad toxic relationships that gave them no love, empty cups, right? Love offers that, uh, that never came to any kind of success. And they, they sat at one point and prayed for you, collective. They asked the divine, "Can I? Will you please just send me something of uh, someone who's gonna work, you know, with me? Somebody who's a relationship that's gonna be successful. Send me somebody who's gonna love me and really love me and not want to leave me." And they sent them you. 
You were their wish here with the star and the queen of cups. That was the gift. This was the blessing. They sent them you. You were their wish. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The divine heard this. Okay, I feel like, um, and they sent them you, and they betrayed you, and just wanted, they just wanted passion from other people, and I feel like they tried that with you, and you just weren't the same as everybody else, and I don't know, maybe it was something about your spirituality, or something about that beautiful, empathic energy, I feel like you have abilities, it may have like been too much for this person to handle, I don't know. But they kept going into things that were easier, thing, um, people that were, uh, I don't know, um, floozies. I just keep wanting to say floozies. I don't know why. They're giving me that word. Um, yeah, people that really just played them. Okay, these are the things that they keep getting into, and they did it yet again. They offered that cup when they should have offered it to you. They asked for you. They asked for this blessing, uh, and he, you were their wish fulfilled. That was the answer to their prayer. You were the answer to their prayer, and they they turned their nose up at you. They didn't want they didn't want this blessing. They didn't want you, so they prayed for you. Once they got it, they treated it like it was nothing. This is why this person's under judgment. And then they go and choose someone else, like a party person or someone just for personal gratification. Oh, man. Oh, man. They're being shown this. They're being shown this. And that's the most disrespectful thing that you can do with an answered prayer. I mean, for real. They treated their, their, the answer to their prayers like garbage. And then they chose the same kind of person that they had, like, that they had chosen before. Just toxic, easy people. Okay? But they didn't, they don't turn out to be easy in the end because this person ends up getting betrayed, like, each and every time. Okay? But they think they know everything. You know, with the, with the King of Swords out here, this is somebody I feel is very arrogant. Somebody who's all up in their ego. Someone who's fairly stubborn. Okay. Um, someone who can be harsh with their communication. I feel like not only did they turn their nose up at you, and you were the answer to their prayers, but they cut you off harshly. They were cold. They were nasty. They were rude. They were mean. They said harsh, cold, cutting things. And all you were there, you were sent to this person to love them as an answer to their prayers. You've got to be kidding me. Immature, just wanting to play with you. They just wanted to play. And then cut you out. And they actually prayed for somebody who was going to love them. Wow. Wow, I feel like this person's arrogance is, and ego, um, yeah, they were sent an earth angel, man. Earth angel, light worker. They could have an STD from all this playing around. I'm, I'm, I'm calling it out. This, the page of wands to me is, is an STD card. Yeah, I feel like someone gave him an STD. I feel like you're safe, though. You're protected. Um, yeah, and this, I feel like, is the, their health issue, their little health issue they have now. Um, that's kind of divine intervention, all right, for doing what they did to you. Oh, my goodness. So now this person is learning a lesson. Um, they only wanted passion. They only wanted to play. They were stuck in their ways. They were mean, harsh, and cold. Very cold. They wanted love, but this person, they didn't know how to love. They didn't know the first thing about love. This is somebody who's cold. Okay, all they wanted was the to play around in the use of their wand. They let passion make their decisions for them. 
um, and they gave to the wrong people, I feel like, yeah, now I feel like now there, there's a lot of fighting, a lot of endings going on in their life, a lot of chaos, a lot of drama. They've got an STD here. I know someone has an STD here that they may not be able to get rid of it. I feel like whatever karmic individuals um, that they chose over you, they're doing nothing but fighting, okay? This person is losing their mind. But now I feel like they can start seeing clearly they're having to take a look at their own ugly patterns of behavior here. Uh, they can't sleep. I feel like they may be haunted. They're very uncomfortable with this STD. Um, they're wondering. I feel like there's other people, too, that could have gotten the same STD, and they don't know who gave it to them or something like that. Or this person is taking the blame for it. I feel like there's endings to situations going on behind the scenes. This person is realizing here that once again they chose they chose cups that had nothing but blood and sand. Okay, no love in those cups at all. The one true soulmate connection that they prayed for is way over here and this person, I mean, they were brutal to you. Yeah, and now I feel like they missed their opportunity here. They missed their opportunity being a ki because they wanted to be a king schmoozer, chasing after anything that they saw that they were passionate about, taking big risks, um, being reckless, being impulsive, not, not caring how they made other people feel. This person really didn't know about love. They were, they were praying for love. They made a prayer for someone who would truly love them. But when you came, they didn't even recognize it. Because you know what? A person like this, I feel like they didn't know love. They just kept choosing the same kind of karmic individuals here. Yeah, now they're, yeah, and I feel like now the Wheel of Fortune is turning. And they're losing you, Collective. You're about to get new love here. You were a blessing sent to them, and you're like, well, what? You know, the divine's not about to let you be empty-handed. You know how to love, and you're about to get um, somebody uh, who's going to just choose you. Yeah, your new soulmate connection is coming. I'm telling you, you're about to get an offer from someone. This is somebody who may, it may start off, off as a friendship. They're going to want to get to know you slowly, Okay. And get to know you because I feel like you've this this journey has changed us all. You're a different person now. You know, and I feel like that love, that love is out here for a purpose, and you um you are deserving to be loved back, and you're about to get a new soulmate connection. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. This person just didn't know what to do with the love, okay? And here's the thing, they didn't realize, look, you're the empress, you're every queen in the deck. This person would have to find four queens to equal one of you, one of you. And you have the qualities about you that these other people, that these karmic individuals, this person keeps choosing, they, they can't match up to you. They don't have the same qualities you do. They're only in it for playtime. Okay, and I feel like you're very abundant. Um, you don't need anybody in the energy that you're in. You're all bossed up. Um, you're making boss moves. You're, you could be a business owner here. Um, independent, abundant. Uh, you've upgraded in your life here. You're sitting very comfortably on this throne of pillows, right? And yeah, you're ready to be loved the right way. And I feel like this person's being shown this. They're in a lot of regret. They're realizing. I feel like they feel embarrassed, maybe, because they keep trying these other options here. They're, you know, they just keep jumping from the frying pan right into the fire. That's all, that, you know, impulsively jumping into the fire with karmic individuals while the answer to their prayers is about to get new love. you got to be kidding me.
the wheel of fortune's turning in your favor that your your um love life is not going to be kept on hold anymore collective okay yeah i feel like the, and the divine has seen everything go down yeah this person they're you know they're looking at their other options they're realizing they're a player they want love now okay they want love now i feel like they're still dealing with the karmic individual they don't know what to do with um trying to stop this person from coming towards you with an apology they want to talk but they feel so defeated and so betrayed right now um yeah they betrayed the love that they had they betrayed the answer they had an answered prayer here with you and they treated you like you were nothing while they went and chased tail that's what they did that's what they did I feel like this person doesn't want to be a player anymore. They want that love. And the divine, you know, the divine's not going to keep going back and forth with a person. You know, you have to set your intentions and you have to take the steps in order to get towards your intentions. And they didn't do that. They went in an opposite direction. You know, they just kept choosing the same kind of karmic people over and over and over again. And the universe is no longer waiting for this person. I feel like they're, yeah, they don't want to let go, but I feel like the universe is done with this, I have to say. You're standing your, your ground. You're, you've got integrity. You're standing in your strength, in your power. Um, I feel like you, uh, you know, you intuitively know that new love is coming your way. And this person, look, they're out in the cold and feeling that defeat. They're feeling that defeat. They continuously keep getting betrayed in the, in the karmic relationships that they keep choosing, and that's on them now. You know, they, I, they, I feel like spirit is really angry with this person because they literally prayed for you. You came in as an answer to their prayers, and they, it was disgusting how they treated you. I've got to say, I feel like they just treated you like you were absolutely nothing. And they, they talked to you um, very harshly. This person was brutal to the answer to their prayers. And now they don't get to have you anymore. The, the divine is going to bring you someone who deserves your love. You know? Wow. Let's see what this person wants to say, okay? I feel like they want to say something here. They're, they're starting to get it. They're realizing it through long nights, okay, of having to look at themselves. Um, knowing how betrayed they've been from everybody that they keep choosing. Feeling out in the cold. Bad health, you guys. I feel like this person is still, uh, some of these people, not all of them, some of them have an STD that they got picked up. Or picked, or they got they, that they picked up from chasing after other karmic people. Sorry, um, I don't want to let you go. Yeah, this is them not wanting to let go of their blessing. But when I said it was over, I don't know what the f I was thinking. Yeah, they realize it now. I made a promise to someone to leave you alone, but I don't know if I can do it. I feel like that's these karmic individuals that they get with. There's no passion in my life. I feel like I'm stuck in Groundhog Day. I don't feel I deserve to be happy. I feel like this person's in Dark Night of the Soul. I don't want to lose myself in this relationship. Yeah, I, they, they, don't feel they, they feel they don't deserve to be happy, but they still don't want to lose themselves in a relationship. So it's like, I feel like this person still wants to kind of keep up with their player ways a little bit. You know, just they, they like that freedom. They, they like the way it feels to be a chaser, that kind of thing. Or they like to be chased, what, what, however it is. I feel like they, there's a part of them that doesn't want to let go of that lifestyle. I regret letting others come in between us. I can't listen to music right now because I hear you through the songs. That's the divine giving them messages. It's making them feel really guilty and bad. I'm reminded of you every time I walk in this building. I check on you every chance I get. When I let you go, I really effed up. Yep. 
it just doesn't feel right without you. Do you still love me? Don't believe what you see or hear because I am not okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like you may see some things on the internet, uh, pictures this person is posting um, with all these new people out partying, whatever, like woohoo, having a great life. You know, this person's miserable because they don't have any love in their life, okay? They don't have love. They didn't choose you. They mistreated you. You were the love. <laughs> yeah, so they may appear to be happy online with whatever pictures they're putting out their collective, but this person's miserable because they don't have any love in their life. All right? And they keep getting betrayed by all, the, all these people that they keep choosing, these karmic individuals. So don't let what they post fool you. Don't let it get under your skin. Mm-mm. Mm-mm.